Mimesis, The Representation of Reality in Western Literature, by Eric Auerbach is a seminal work in the field of literary criticism that explores the ways in which Western literature has depicted reality throughout its history. Auerbach's book, originally published in 1946, is a comprehensive examination of the diverse modes of representation in literature, from Homer's The Odyssey to the works of Virginia Woolf. This analysis aims to delve into the key themes and arguments presented in Auerbach's book, shedding light on his ideas regarding mimesis and the evolution of literary styles. Auerbach begins his exploration of mimesis by contrasting two prominent passages in Western literature, one from the Bible and the other from Homer's The Odyssey. He illustrates how these passages reflect distinct approaches to representing reality. The biblical passage, from the book of Genesis, is characterized by its clear, focused, and detailed narrative. It presents a linear, historical account of events, mirroring the deeply religious and providential worldview of its time. In contrast, the Homeric passage, taken from the moment when Odysseus reveals his true identity to the swineherd Eumaeus, is far more complex and layered. It is filled with dialogues, descriptive details, and a rich interiority that provides insights into the character's thoughts and emotions. Auerbach points out that this passage, typical of ancient Greek literature, serves as a stark contrast to the biblical style and represents a shift from the sacred to the secular. This contrast forms the foundation for Auerbach's examination of mimesis in Western literature. Auerbach contends that over time, literature has evolved from the simple, didactic narratives of the Bible to more complex, multifaceted depictions of reality. He argues that the Bible's purpose was to convey the divine truth, and it did so through a direct and unambiguous narrative style. In contrast, Greek literature, as exemplified by Homer, is more concerned with the portrayal of individual experiences and the diversity of human life. This change in focus marks a shift from the sacred and transcendent to the secular and imminent. Auerbach's analysis of Western literature takes readers through different historical periods and literary movements, demonstrating how the representation of reality has evolved. He highlights the works of Dante, Boccaccio, and Chaucer, noting that the Middle Ages saw a resurgence of more complex narrative styles, with a renewed interest in individual experiences and worldly affairs. The Renaissance furthered this trend with the emergence of the novel, characterized by its attention to psychological realism and the depiction of ordinary life. One of Auerbach's key arguments is that the shift in mimesis is closely tied to the changing cultural and intellectual climate of each era. He notes that the medieval era was dominated by religious authority and a strict moral framework, while the Renaissance ushered in a more secular, humanistic perspective. This cultural transformation is reflected in the literature of the time, which embraced a diverse range of human experiences and perspectives. Auerbach also emphasizes the significance of language and style in the representation of reality. He argues that the evolution of literary style is intertwined with the broader transformation of Western thought and culture. For example, he points out that the development of the novel in the 17th and 18th centuries is marked by a new emphasis on individual consciousness and subjective experiences. This shift is closely tied to the changing linguistic and philosophical landscape of the time. Auerbach's exploration of mimesis extends to the 19th and early 20th centuries, with a focus on the works of authors like Balzac, Flaubert, and Proust. He notes how these authors employed increasingly intricate narrative techniques and linguistic innovations to capture the complexity of modern life. In the 20th century, Auerbach observes a fragmentation of narrative perspectives and a growing preoccupation with the inner lives of characters, exemplified in the works of James Joyce and Virginia Woolf. In conclusion, Eric Auerbach's Mimesis, 
the representation of reality in Western literature, offers a comprehensive analysis of the evolution of literary representation of reality from ancient times to the 20th century. Auerbach's examination of contrasting passages from the Bible and Homer serves as a foundational point of departure for his exploration of changing styles and approaches to mimesis. He argues that shifts in mimesis are closely intertwined with cultural, linguistic, and philosophical developments in Western society. Ultimately, Auerbach's work highlights the dynamic relationship between literature and the representation of reality, offering valuable insights into the complex and evolving nature of Western literary traditions.